Hello friends, this is Adavta. Uh, today we will be talking about a Antelot SQL interview challenge that was asked to me some time back. So this question is regarding finding each employee's manager. We will discuss now this in more detail. Okay, so these are your tables. The first table that you see here is the input table and the second table that you see here is the expected output. The first table, of course, as you can see, we have three columns, employer ID, employee name, and then manager ID. And in the second uh, table, you see this is the expected output where we are expected to show the relevant employee names and then the, the employee's manager names as well. If you see in this portion, the input table, Asha is reporting to somebody whose manager is, is three. In this scenario, he is Peter. You see Asha with her manager Peter here in the first record. And then you see Peter is reporting to manager ID four, who is Kevin. You see Peter and Kevin's record here. And similarly, you see Kevin is reporting to Paul and Paul is like a super boss who is reporting to no one. That is why his manager ID is not that. So this is what we need to do. Let's see how we can do this. Please uh, make sure this question is very frequently asked. It is not so difficult, but it sometimes becomes tricky if you do not know the concept of how a recursive CD works. Because a recursive CD is the best case that you can use here to solve this specific question. Let me walk you through how we can do that. So as I said previously, this is my input table. So because in the expected output, if you remember, we were asked to start from the employee Asha and not from Anitra. That means we have to use some sort of input employee ID variable that we will pass into our CDE code that would make sure that we are starting the output hierarchy from Asha, right? All right, let us see how we can do that. Let me deploy the data variable here, employee ID integer. Let's give it value of two because Asha's employee ID is two here. All right. Let's see. With employee as okay. Let us get all the details from the employee table first. Because see, in a recursive CT, you want to first set up your base query. That would in this scenario that would be Asha's record. Employee ID. Employee name and then manager. From employee table, of course, we'll be adding a where clause. Employee ID is equal to. Okay. See, imagine this first line of code, first query, here in this recursive CD would give you Asha's record. Now, you need to use a union on here because we have to recursively check, get all the employees and all the managers after Asha. Right? The first piece of code here will give you Asha's details and then we want to get Peter's details because Asha is according to Peter whose manager ID is 3 in this scenario, right? Let us see how we can do that. Make sure because you will be getting the single record from here, now you want to pass this record or you want to join this record with the employee table so that you can get Peter's details and then Kevin's details and then subsequently Paul's details, right? Let us see what we can do here. Let's do a union now, select employee ID, employee name, dot employee CD, right? Let us give a yes. Now imagine, because I told you this first line will give you Asha's details, and now because I want Peter's details, I need this manager ID from the first line to join with the employee table so that I can get Peter's record, right? Let us see. Joining with employee table here, or please uh, give some attention here. This join is very crucial as you want to get, as you want to take the manager ID from the first record of employee CT and then pass it over to the employee table as manager ID, as employee ID. Sorry. Okay. EMPCT dot, you want to get the manager ID from CT and join with employee ID from the employee table. All right. We see these three lines here coming on these three columns. These are coming because these are ambiguous columns. To make sure I want to get all these three columns in the after the union all query from the employee table because I want to get Peter's details here. Right? All right. Let us see first, and let us try to execute this employee CD and see what we are getting. 
okay it has worked let's see the original table as well okay if you see the first table was our original table the input table and the second table is our uh, expected output that is coming from this invoice cd but we have still not reached our expected the first original expected output where we were asked to show employee name and then the subsequent manager name for those employees okay let us do an inner chart again with the expected order of expected output of from this employee cd because we have got this output and now we need to get the manager names as well that how we can do that we'll do a simple self join with employee cd based on manager id to employee id and we'll be getting those details let's see how we can do that employee cd let's let's name it as e2 in this scenario and let's give it as e1 and we'll be joining on because this is my expected output from employee cd for example e1 i'm getting asha's details here and me peter's details again i'll be taking manager id this manager id 3 i want to join with this employee id 3 right okay manager id 2 e2 dot employee id okay let's see what we get now and let me do one more thing to make things simpler as employee name and whatever we'll be getting from e2 that will be manager name let's try to execute this okay so here we have got these details as expected that asha is reporting to peter then peter to kevin and then kevin ultimately to paul but don't you think we have missed out on some condition here because you see this last record for paul who is the super boss in our organization he has not he has actually his record is not coming out of the employee cd output why do you think what might be the reason behind that because we have used this inner join here and because you're playing with manager id and employee id join here he, paul was reporting remember paul was reporting to no one and his manager id was null that is why you see this record has been omitted from the final output so that means in this scenario we don't have to use inner join we'll be using left join so that we will also receive paul's record who is actually not reporting to anyone and whose manager id is null yeah that is it that's how we can actually solve this employee hierarchy question. Please make note of this. Please make sure how to use a recursive CT. You can actually stay tuned to my channel. I'll be pretty soon coming up with the working of a recursive CT, how it works, and then we can discuss more in detail. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Please stay tuned to my channel. Thank you.